I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Monday, July 12th, reading is from Acts, the 21st chapter, verses 27 through 39. When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia who had seen him in the temple stirred up all the crowd and laid hands on him, crying out, Men of Israel, help! This is the man who is teaching men everywhere against the people and the law in this place. Moreover, he also brought Greeks into the temple, and he has defiled this holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus, the Ephesian, with him in the city, and they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Then all the city was aroused, and the people ran together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple, and at once the gates were shut. And as they were trying to kill him, word came to the tribune, tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in confusion. He at once took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. And when they saw the tribune, the soldiers and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Then the tribune came up and arrested him and ordered him to be bound with two chains. He inquired who he was and what he had done. Some in the crowd shouted one thing, some another. And as he could not learn the facts because of the uproar, he ordered him to, to be brought into the barrier. And when we came to the steps, he was actually carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the crowd. For the mob of the people followed him, crying, Away with him! As Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the tribune, May I say something to you? And he said, Do you know Greek? Are you not the Egyptian then, who recently stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 men of assassins out into the wilderness? Paul replied, I am a Jew from, the Tarsus, from Tarsus of Sicilia, a citizen of no mean city. I beg you, let me speak to the people. The word of the Lord. Good trouble. This little piece of scripture fits into the big story about the Apostle Paul's adventures and his passionate gospel witness. The uproar here concerns religious beliefs. The crowd was incensed, believing that Paul was preaching against cherished convictions and traditions. John Lewis, who died last July 17th, is remembered as a statesman and civil rights leader. He organized peaceful sit-ins and protests to support voting rights and racial equality. Dedicated to nonviolence, he courageously endured much suffering. He was arrested at least 45 times and often brutally beaten. Lewis believed it was sometimes necessary to engage in good trouble to achieve change. Paul and John Lewis are separated by centuries, but united in passion and purpose. They join a crowd of saints and witnesses of every generation. We may not all be called to be activists in the same way, but we can pray that God empower us all to act boldly for justice and peace. Our prayer. Holy God, help us discern when change is needed. Give us courage to act in your name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.